In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to, with BCDS, activating the rear fader on a T6.1 with the Discover Nav system. Good morning guys, as I mentioned just now, I'm going to be showing you using VCDS how we're going to activate the rear fader on this T6.1. So I've done some videos before on this system on how to do it properly and officially with Otis. Um, obviously that way means that when it's done, if it goes into the if it goes into the dealer it's never going to get wiped out i'm going to be showing you how to do it with vcds but remember if your vehicle does go into the factory or sorry to the dealer to have any work done there is the potential that you could lose this rear fader functionality and the activation of your rear speakers because their two are linked so i'm just going to quickly show you how it looks at the moment i'll then jump over to vcds show you what i'm doing so you can then copy it and then hopefully once you've done your thing it will then all work and we'll show you the final results so stay tuned right so um 2021 vw t6.1 as i mentioned let me just turn that down um at the moment it's a very basic combi it's actually in for her uh, conversion that we're doing uh, but as it's got the nav system i wanted to show you the um how to do it with vcds so that you've got something to be able to try yourself so just so you can see um Front speakers only. If we'd have installed rear speakers, this is what we'd be doing either with Otis or VCDS. So to check settings, sound, we've got position here. Now at the moment, we've only got balance left and right. We can't do anything with output into the rear or moving it. And also this means on some particular models, we can't, it won't activate the rear speaker output on this system until you do this change either through Otis or VCDS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto the computer. I'm going to show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And then uh, we'll show you it all working afterwards. Right, so load up VCDS. Make sure you've got the latest version. And at the moment of doing this video, it's 21.9. Uh, get yourself to 5F Info Electrics and wait for it to load up. You're going to hit Adaptation 10. And we're going to just try and start off by searching uh, one of the first codes. But I'll pop it down in the description of how what these ones are so you've got that as well so once you've got this code in it just helps organize it a little bit and so you're looking for audio channel one underscore tt click it to installed hit yes just go through the motions and then it will change to installed in stored value we're now going to be looking for the number four channel um, so that's underscore four underscore tt we're going to change it to installed do it and away we go and this what this does is this opens up those extra audio channels so what we need to do now is activate the fader and to do that we need to search for a slightly different code and the easiest way to find it um oh, let's just get rid of that um is to look for audio dash signal and we're looking for topology it's probably set at 10 we need to change it from 20 and then click do it oh what we can do actually though just so that we can reboot the 5f automatically is if we click soft reset then do it it will change that code and then the 5f will reboot and then uh, you can go and check it and what we'll do is we'll jump through to the next part of the video and show you how it all works right then BCDS work is all done and dusted. Um, we've done a reset on the unit. You can either do it through uh, VCDS with the soft reset that I showed you on the last bit where I ticked that box. When you click the do it, it then sends the command to the unit to reset or you can push and hold the on off button for about 30 seconds. It will go to the clock and then you keep holding and then it will show the VW logo and show you that it's all uh, rebooted. So um, just to prove to you that it's all worked and it's all fine, um, settings, uh, sound, position, and there you go, fader activated vcds done and dusted um so if you've got a vehicle like this with the discover nav just for clarity um i will probably just if i can remember where it is is just show you the part number of this system so that you can double check so the device that we definitely know it's working on that we that this unit is is the 3g5035820 delta so if you've got this unit and with this software and all that sort of business doing the vcds there should be no reason uh, why it won't work i can't see any other reason why it wouldn't work with any other discover nav system but as we try and do more um, we'll have a quick butchers 
um, and see if we can do it with VCDS. We're always going to try and do it through Odis with the activation code because then it's a permanent fix, as I mentioned. Um, but at least now for the hobbyist or somebody else wanting to do this sort of thing, at least the information is now there for you guys to go away and do it yourself. We do lots of how-to videos. People think that just because we're a business, we're out to make money on everything. Well, money makes the world go round, pays people's wages and bills and all this sort of stuff. Um, but we like to give something back. And uh, this is how we're doing it. If you've got VCDS, then you can do it yourself. And I'm sure there's going to be loads of companies out there, audio com companies, conversion companies, that are going to be using this information um, to be able to offer you that rear speaker upgrade, the activation and the fader functionality. Um, so, yeah, you're welcome. Um, if you've, like I said, if you want this doing by us, then make sure you get in touch with us. It's uh, Advanced In Car Technologies. If you like the videos, you like the how-tos, um, and especially as we're giving this information, it would mean a lot if you could like the video, sub to the channel, because that really helps us out in the long run and getting this content out there in the YouTube algorithms as always. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And as always, um, take it easy.